naturally I love these types of videos because of how authentic they are. Hmm. <laughs> is um, currently drying because I don't have a long enough drying rack. Oh, hello. Back in. <laughs> hello, hello. Welcome to um, another special what I eat in a day video. This version is going to be for lazy days. So what I thought that I would do today is to mimic a very lazy day for you and i have these all the time so it's not it's not too much of a stretch um and we'll go through breakfast lunch dinner maybe any snacks or something okay so to start off with um naturally if you guys have seen any of my get ready with me videos, in terms of breakfast, I do not fool around with that stuff. I always have the same thing for breakfast every day. And that is um, this crazy mix of, of a shake of like, it's pretty much spinach soup is what I have. So it's like spinach, blueberries, turmeric, ginger, hemp powder, pepper, flaxseed, something. Essentially, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to have all of the good things that I should be having in a day um, in this shake. And this stuff is harder to drink in the winter time because it is so darn cold, but I actually think a better thing to do is to put this like in the refrigerator the day before. Just get some water. Ugh. Sometimes I think it's easier, especially on cold days, to just put this with water the day before in the fridge and then that way it won't be as icy and I will just go and blend this up. So I literally just bought this Vitamix mixer off of um, Gumtree, which is like the Craigslist here. Sorry, just trying to man that. And this thing has literally been kind of destroyed. It gets very, very murky. Tricky thing about this stuff is the covers and stuff, it will get super gross if you let it sit. So it is in your best interest to um, Put this at least in like a plate or something and then wash out the whole vessel immediately. Oh my gosh, look at how much that is. like seven or eight times to get the uh, quick motion. What is it? Fast speed, speed up. Sometimes I get a brain freeze from this though. In addition to this, I will also make myself um, an oatmeal of which I have conveniently mixed together already. So it's like oatmeal, a little bit of flaxseed, a little bit of chia seed, and it's all lovely together. But I have already eaten that in the early morning. It's actually midday um, beforehand, uh, but I didn't have my shake yet. So I thought it would be a good idea to do that with you guys. So um, this, a lot of people are gonna ask me how it tastes like. It tastes like, <laughs> it tastes like slightly sweetened spinach with high undertones of turmeric. 
So uh, it's pretty much it's pretty much exactly what I what I put into it. So it's not the the world's easiest tasting shake, but at the same time, I think I've been doing this for like two years plus now. Um, you get kind of used to it. Like this is how I start off my day, and if I don't do that, I kind of feel like I am just cheating life or something. So. I actually do this one for lunchtime all the time, so it's actually, um, it, it is not a lie. I get some of these uh, pre-made falafels from the grocery store. They're not, they're not frozen or anything. You can just stick them in the toaster or the air fryer. So it's been nearly a year since I've done that crazy, you know, do air fryers work video. It has, it has helped me pay for uh, many things. That video has literally paid for a many grocery bills. In the comments, there's always half of them that are completely in disbelief. They're like, oh my God, it's just, it's just an oven. You know, that's really, it doesn't do anything. And then the other half are like, oh my gosh, this mechanism is so impressive. And um, indeed it is. If you have one, you'll kind of learn what it's really good at. And these need to be washed beforehand. So I will wash them. Um, I will take some broccoli stems and some uh, falafels like this, and I'll just toast them up for a couple of minutes so that these get a little bit crunchy and then these just get like a little bit roasted. And then afterwards, I will mix them with a general like salad mix. I'll toss it together, it'll be really good. Uh, and it's quite, quite yummy. So let's go and do that. our snack while we wait for the falafels to heat up. Have you guys tried this before? It's like the all pro chocolate pudding. It's really thin and, and it's not, I don't know, it's not too, too sweet. So. It's kind of sweet, but I don't mind it. So what do we have here? The watercress spinach rocket mix. Watercress is actually quite spicy and bitter. Rocket is also quite spicy and bitter. So this one, this is a very spicy and bitter thing. Do you see this? I had this dish from Pottery. You guys know if you have been following me on the Instagram that I've been here. Hold on, let me just get you a close up. And no, there, there. Okay, cool. It's on this. Mmm. Lovely. All right, lovely. So we'll do this. This has already been washed. See, I have some tongs. They always say three looks better on a plate. You just get like, and that was just a couple minutes, but you just get a little bit of char. Obviously, dressing, but I. Let's back up. You guys are gonna say dressing. Oh my god, it's so dark, but I don't wanna turn, I don't wanna bring in the lights. So, so you guys are gonna say, what else does this need? It's going to need some dressing, obviously, but I am somebody who's really weird. I don't. I don't like dressings. I don't like anything oily. I also don't even, I don't even like like vinegar, but I know sometimes that can be good for the digestion. So I have some apple cider vinegar here. And then with uh, falafels, I, are, I, I usually like to put in just a little bit of tahini. Nice and fattening and rich. But I think I, I'm someone who really likes their, I need the salad to be very, um, hearty because otherwise I'm also someone who feels like salads just um, kind of wet my appetite. I just, I get more hungry with salad. Boom. Let's go get a close up. color. I feel like if we 
we put in like a lemon on the side. I bet it'd be really pretty. Nice. Despite it not being even 5 p.m. yet, I have had to bring in this massive thing. Here's my finger to compare. It got so dark outside. And again, not just, not even five yet. Okay, so for this dinner uh, in particular, I'm going to be doing a curry udon. And a lot of you guys are gonna hate me for this. There's a lot of, um, I guess like ready-made ingredients to it. I'm gonna be using a curry cube. I am going to be using a vegetable bouillon that is actually um, really not bad, but everything comes together in about 20 minutes or so. So I love this dish because I'm always craving curry. It's really easy to make. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really grabbing a bunch of ingredients that have sort of been pre-made um, and then mushing them all together. So yeah, let's let's go. Okay, so the deal with this one is pretty quick. Oh my gosh, my tables are all over the place. It's pretty quick because what I do, and this is a nice tip for everyone, not just because they're frozen vegetables, is I usually don't prepare large amounts of food. So most of the time when I'm looking up a recipe or something, it'll make you know meals for you know four people, six people, and I don't really need that. Um, really at all. So anytime I'm cooking, usually I'll have like a half of an onion left over, or I'll have, you know, a half a can of, I don't know, tomato sauce, or like when I'm chopping up, I don't know, like potatoes or something, I don't need that full amount. So this is essentially my little scrap pile of vegetables. It's a mix of, I think there's some daikon radish in here, but um, daikon, potatoes, onions, and carrots, and those are usually kind of the big three, the big four uh, that I will use for my cart. So let's say that you're making like two people serving. I will usually say, oh, I don't know, two big, two and a half handfuls of stuff. And for anybody who's like worked in a restaurant before, anytime you have like scraps of anything, it could be like, carrots that let's say you, you wanted to get like perfect chops of carrots or like perfect little uh, carrot matchsticks, but then you have the ends that are not quite right. You just throw them in the bin of, of veggies and then afterwards they end up making a stock out of everything. So there's not a real waste. So here is what it is currently, why I love this recipe. Um, I have these Kalo mushroom cubes. I like them, but I wish that, I mean, they use the responsible palm oil and whatnot, but I wish that they just, I mean, used another type. These Japanese curry cubes with uh, probably a ton of MSG in it, but it's so convenient. And it always smells so good. So that, that goes in. Um, two, a, a little more than two cups of water I have found for me. Try not to get it all over this surface, which, I have clearly done. Um, and then just from knowing and have been doing this recipe for a bit, I usually do this towards the end, but today we can do it now, is usually it requires like an additional, oh, maybe like tablespoon of, of, of a soy sauce. And then at the end, which we can just do now, that was a lot, a splash of vinegar because like all of the, 
kind of like the curry cube and the, and the mushroom, they have a tendency to just like taste very earthy afterwards and it just needs that little bit of acidity and it just needs that little bit of acidity to pick everything back up and everything will taste uh, nice and good. So, so this is really how it is first. And then uh, we'll finish it off with like maybe a little bit of uh, cornstarch or usually if you put in the udon noodles, which I have the packets of uh, in the end, the udon naturally thickens it up anyways. So it's really, really quick. And you're really just waiting for the, the potatoes to soften here. So like 20 minutes or so, and it should be pretty good. get my udon that I picked up yesterday from the grocery store. So, packet of udon. I was thinking of making ugh, pumpkin pie, which they don't, they don't always have canned pumpkin in London. And then, what did I go do? I was, um, I literally have like a bag of leaves. Cause I was thinking like, oh, this is a pretty leaf that I could use for photography or something. So that is, people, that is literally my life. Okay, so now that it's like this, you just want to make sure that the potatoes are done. So just like take a piece of that, and see that it's like, Last minute, any minute, probably should have gone in when the vegetables sort of did, but so dark in the kitchen. Let me turn out this little slider. I decided to finish it out here um, in the patio. You can see how amazing this uh, udon dish looks. And it's super nice because it's such a dark and cold day um, outside. But yeah, that's it really for me. Um, I hope you guys have all enjoyed this. Um, I was, gonna, I was gonna say get ready with me video, but it's, it is not that. I hope you guys have enjoyed this what I eat in a day video. And if you want to see more videos like this, more kind of like occasions based or like thematic based what I eat in a day video, please let me know down in the comments below. Um, I know that I was kind of picking, poking fun at it a little bit at the beginning, but this is really in general, like the types of meals that I eat when, you know, I am working late, when I have been shooting the whole day and I just need something really quick, or it's like a day like this where it's really dark out and I'm just really tired and feeling lazy and not wanting to do much. So yeah, so that's really it for now. And I will see you guys again next time, okay? Bye.